Hello, let me share with you a pretty useful tip for something that I've learned a couple of weeks ago, which is to export the results of a data view query to a canvas in Obsidian. But before um, I show you how it works, let me tell you why I looked into it. Every year I've been reviewing the books that I've read in that year and then finding out what were my favorite ones and then looking through my notes and highlights and then creating a little summary to put on a yearly post that I publish my favorite books in the year XYZ. So I was planning or uh, starting to prepare to do that and I thought, you know what, uh, it would be great to leverage the approach of creating an Obsidian canvas where as I was putting it together, and I have it at the, the bottom of this post here, right? I created this canvas with all the books that I've read in 2024. And then, as you can see here, the ones with a green background, those are uh, the ones that I considered my favorite ones. And then I've brought them together, grouped them based on whatever topic I associate those um, books with, as well as some... Um, relationships or actions for things to to do with the book like for instance uh, this one here the creative act i wrote down review because i really like that book and i want to get some uh, some more out of it i want to go thoroughly through my uh, highlights my notes and i want to do some pondering over the contents uh, this other one here it's a another book that i'm planning to read next that I was made aware of when I read this other book here, right? So as I'm reviewing this, it reminds me, oh yeah, you made a note that you would like to read that book at some point, maybe in the near future. And uh, so that was a kind of exercise and that's why I wanted to create a canvas to make it easier for me to see these connections and remember what I've learned and figure out, okay, do I want to learn more about that? If so, where? what should be my next step and if you want to hear a little bit more about how i'm using canvases in obsidian to uh, ponder over my my book reading journey there is another book i will have a, a link there that you can click uh, to go learn a little bit more about that now the thing about creating a canvas like that is that it's kind of tedious Right, so how we do that, it's kind of tedious because you have to create a canvas, create a card, and then add a reference to the book, a reference to the book cover, right, and put them all there so that you can still, you can start to regroup them and link and all of that. That's kind of tedious, and I didn't want to spend any time on that. I wanted to spend time pondering over the books, not, you know, adding them to a canvas. So one of the queries that I have specifically for this canvas that I wanted to create is this query that gives me the books read in that year, right? And then I have my list here. So to create a canvas, that canvas that you saw, what I did was I go to the bottom of this query and I now have this button here, copy canvas JSON to clipboard. So when I do that, it's running that query, it's producing the result as a JSON uh, content that is in the format that the canvas in Obsidian needs that data. So I haven't uh, created any plugin in Obsidian yet, so I wouldn't know how to do that yet uh, integrated. So right now we have to do uh, a little bit of a, a hacky thing here, which is to create the canvas, right? An empty canvas like this, I'm gonna call it simple. Now, if I paste, I'm gonna paste whatever I had in the clipboard from clicking on that button right here, you see that JSON content that I was, was talking about. So you can start seeing like the name of a book here and the, the reference to the cover and then another book, another book. So this is all the data that Obsidian needs in the formats for the canvas to work. So, but since that doesn't work like it here, I'm going to remove it from here. I'm going to right click there and say, hey, review this guy in Finder. Oh, it's on my, my other screen here. 
but what I want to do is to open the, the file as a just a, a regular text file if I could just drop it where it's supposed to go there we go right now here we have that empty file pretty much I'm going to just uh, select what content I had there uh, erase it delete it and then paste the JSON so you can use any text uh, text writer text editing tool uh, Right, I dropped the, the content there. Now if I flip back over here, notice that my canvas is populated, right? And it has all of the books that came from that uh, query. The green ones here are, are already the ones that it found the favorite tag in the front matter for those uh, books. And it's already indicating there. So then from here, all I have to do is to start doing the pondering part, not the tedious work at least not for me where I can see it's like oh yeah this book here I actually associate with this one and also that one so I want to move it down here a little bit and what else oh that one I know it's related somehow here because I remember, oh yeah, they're by the same author and I read Back Up the Napkin first and then Show and Tell next. And then from this one, I actually read this one uh, and it, it was actually kind of like this, right? I'm making my connections there and then I select those, right? Typical Canvas thing and I say, I want to group that because that had to do with the visual communication. Right, so that's what I did. It, it was much easier for me to do the, the pondering, find the connections, write some notes, indicate some next actions for those. Um, it streamlined that process to create that yearly favorite books blog post. Now I can reuse this approach because here at Improving we have a lot of book readers and uh, what happens is that every month I've, I've been following this practice for almost a year now to go through the books that I finished reading that given month and then I write a little summary and share with my co-workers and say hey everybody these are some of the books that I finished reading the previous month that's what I liked about them that's what I didn't like about them I would recommend you know people interested in this topic this book because of whatever that is well now having that query that's what I'm going to start doing right at the end of the month just you know dump those books into a canvas create that, do the pondering, maybe I'm going to do that also quarterly, I can do as, as often as I as I need, and not just with the, the books I've read, I could say, well, look up all the books on a given topic that I have notes for or associated with a certain project, because that's another thing that I've been doing as well, associating books with certain projects where those books have been helpful in those projects, I can create a canvas and say that I'm onboarding anybody else to that project, I can say, hey, Here's a list of books that you may want to consider that uh, will help you understand the project and so on and so forth. So this is how the thing works for me. What you are going to need to make this work for you, and uh, I'm going to put it link in the description, but I have a Obsidian Resources uh, GitHub repository. You're going to look for this read-year uh, query, right? And then you can see, I'm gonna have like some uh, notes here, what you need to do, but that is the query, right? You put that um, data view query, whatever you need, you know, tweak it to your liking. Uh, one of those, uh, on a previous video, uh, Reading Journey Streamlined, where I share a whole bunch of different queries that I use um, to maintain my book library, my book reading journey, books I've read, books I'm maintaining on reading. Uh, so you can check that out and then you can borrow whatever query you want from that. And from that point on, it has the code that generates the Canvas JSON based on the results of the query, right? You can see here, yeah, the index for the book, the, the book link, uh, whether it's a favorite, then it knows whether it wants to change the color to, to a different color. 
uh, and then further down that's where it adds the button at the bottom that when you feel like you click on the button it puts the content in the clipboard and then you just have to paste it in a, in the canvas as a text uh, you know outside of uh, obsidian so that's what you need to use this yourself and then just a I guess it's a, a bonus the way I figured out uh, how to do what I got so far was by leveraging AI tools or more specifically ChatGPT in this case where I just prompted the tool hey how can I create a canvas in Obsidian uh, containing the results of this query I dropped the qu query there and then there was some back and forth you don't need to we don't need to go through all of it, of it but it explained to me hey here are the things that uh, you can do and then once I saw what it was doing because at first it was producing the canvas with just a big vertical line with all the books so that was kind of like clunky so I just told it hey you know create you know rows 10 books by row or something like that that way we have that big block it makes it easier to move them around doing the the formatting changing the the card to a green if it's a favorite i just kept telling it to make those things and then also adjust the size that i wanted for those cards so there was some back and forth there once i got exactly what i needed then that's the part that uh, you're going to be getting from my git repo there so if you take this and uh, you want to refine it to your liking consider using a an ai tool sh such as ChatGPT or whatever you're using because it, it makes it a lot easier in my case it allowed me to just focus on the thing that i wanted for the reason that i wanted and i didn't have to think about the technical details of how to get the thing going so uh i hope that's uh that's helpful let me know in the, the comments if uh, you find anything that uh, you know you can make good use of this for